Hey, good afternoon, YouTubers, Facebookers, party people like this Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications down below, sending me your nice comments, liking my video, sharing them. Please watch the whole video, uh, or at least turn the volume down and let it play when you get to the spot that you need. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. So we have a 2010 Dodge Journey with a 3.5 V6 in it. And we are going to replace the EGR valve in this thing. And it's located here on the driver's side. And it's up underneath there. And it's probably not easy. But we'll, we'll find say out. say this from future, you know, from past experiences. It's difficult to get the bolts out. You just got to be patient. Take your time. Okay, our EGR valve looks like it's... Got two screws that go in here. More than likely, this is the tube that goes in, and this is probably where it bolts to the intake or the cylinder it head. Looks like we've got a fitting that screws onto the bottom there. That's probably going to be our problem, child. Luckily, after putting my finger down there and not filling a hose that goes up in here, that's a good thing. More than likely, this is a cast product for different models, and that's why it doesn't have one. So, to make this process simpler, we're going to remove these two bolts here, which is the line that connects into here. So, we don't have to worry about trying to get that screw out right there. And we're going to remove these two bolts right here. And then the line will be connected and we'll remove it while it's out of the car. It sits in there just like this. So, we're going to have two bolts that go in here and two bolts that go in here. And they're more than likely 10 millimeters. I'm just guessing right now, but we'll see. These two bolts on the intake are 8 millimeter bolts. And then your two bolts that go into here are 10 millimeter bolts. This is the 10 millimeter extension and socket that I use to remove the lower bolts right here. Um, you could probably use a combination of everything. It, it, you got a fair amount of room inside there. Okay, now with the EGR bolts all out of it, we can take and slide over this red clip. And then we will be able to push down on... The black button once that slid over and we only have to click it over you don't necessarily have to pull it out it's kind of hard to do with one hand so i'm going to push this out sometimes these are a little bit sticky so you can take a screwdriver and push them a little bit now to make removal easier we're going to look down here and we're going to see two little clips right there and we're going to go ahead and remove them with some pliers like this just to make the removal easier. You've probably fished it out of there if you tried, but I'm gonna do it because I know it'll be right and simple. Okay, so now with the hose ring plier, the hose pliers, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna twist the line just so it breaks the seal between the nipple and the rubber gasket or the rubber hose. If you got that rubber hose moving a little bit, you can go ahead and pull it off. Okay, so you're gonna lose a little bit of coolant when you do that, so make sure you got something underneath the vehicle to trap it. We don't wanna hurt the pets. You know, they like to lick that stuff up because it tastes sweet. I only needed to remove the lower hose, and then that gave me enough room to be able to wiggle this thing out of here. Now that we've got our EGR off, we can actually visually inspect it through the windows. We're gonna remove this two eight millimeter bolts that are in there, and then we'll be able to inspect the panel position on this one and see if our EGR was actually stuck. Now, I also want to say that generally, if you can get these to move up and down, like with the screwdriver or something, I'm not going to do that. But you can spray a bunch of brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner inside it, clean these out, and you may be able to get them to work again. I put mine in a vise, and the reason that I put it in the vise, because the bolts are generally tight, because they heat up and expand all the time, and I'm going to use two wrenches to loosen the bolts. Okay, so I'm going to try to get you guys some good light inside there, but you can see with the tube removed that it's pretty gummed up inside there, and that would be the one that you would primarily need to clean really well, but it's very difficult to clean them, so I'm just going to replace it, but you possibly can do that and save a couple dollars. So what we're going to be replacing it with is this Dorman part number 911125, okay? And it comes with all the... Oh, the gaskets and stuff somewhere around here, okay? So, we're going to go ahead, and it comes with new bolts. It's pretty sick. Anyways, 
So we're going to go ahead and replace all the gaskets and reassemble it and put it back on. You no, know, during assembly, we're going to have to leave these two bolts loose for the little line that goes on there. And we put our bolts up into our gasket so they hold on there just like that. And then that'll allow us to be able to clock it properly. We're going to have to reach back there with an eight millimeter wrench and tighten it up. You really can't get a socket or anything on it. I mean, you can, but it's going to be easier to tighten them back up with the wrench and then make sure we get our EGR tube put in the hole and then tighten everything down once we get everything connected like our electrical connector. Right, now these two screws, then these two screws, and then do our back line screws third and last. That way our EGR tube is in the proper position. Pretty easy stuff right there, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you'll consider subscribing, sending me your nice comments, sharing my videos, liking my videos, got a question for me hit me up on clay's ac and auto repair and the facebook and i will be happy to try to answer them for you god bless you guys remember if anyone else can do it you can do it too